Welcome back in. It's another edition of Tornado Watch presented by Walk-Ons. I'm your host, Chris Mangrum, and we're joined today by Skylar Miller, a member of our track and field program. Skylar, thanks for taking some time to chat with us. Absolutely. So it's your third year as a member of our track and field team. In what areas have you seen the most growth uh, over your time here? Obviously, the, the team's grown a lot. Uh, coaching staff, um, getting new coaches every single year has yeah. been tough, <laughs> but I think we finally have some coaches that are willing to stay, and that's a huge improvement. What would you say has been your primary focus this off season as you prepared for the upcoming season? Just getting in shape, honestly. Um, we just have to condition a lot, lift a lot of weights, get stronger. That's really about it. Well, the indoor track and field season is going to begin here in early December. Uh, fill us in on which events you expect to participate in this year. I'll be doing the, for the indoor, I'll be doing the 60, 200, 300, 400, and then for outdoor, I'll be doing the 100, 200. Would you say there's a favorite of any of those for the you? 200. 200, any reason why? Uh, it's not super long, not super short. I have enough room to catch up with people. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, well, our track and field program competes in its first event on December the 8th uh, and 9th at the 7th Annual Bass Kreger Invitational in Salem, Virginia. Stay tuned to our social media channels as well as our website, kingtornado.com, for all the latest on our track and field programs. For Skyler, I'm Chris. This has been Tornado Watch presented by Walk-Ons. See you next time.